Tomorrow, Mobile City Council members expect to go over former U.S. Attorney Kenyon Brown's report on the Mobile Police Department in what's expected to be a lengthy closed-door meeting. The preliminary findings are part of the reason Mayor Sandy Stimson asked Chief Paul Bryan to step down. Tuesday, April 9th, news broke Mayor Sandy Stimson put Police Chief Paul Prine on administrative leave. Prine wasn't about to go quietly. In a series of public statements and interviews, Prine called himself a whistleblower, accused officials in the Stimson administration of being unethical and conspiring to push him out. Stimson lashed back and accused Prine of having authoritarian leadership style. After four deadly encounters with officers last year, Simpson asked former U.S. Attorney Kenyon Brown to review the police department's practices and procedures. Troubling preliminary findings, Stimson said, coupled with the communications breakdown Prine had with other public safety officials, prompted him to ask Prine to leave. Prine has cast doubt on Brown's report and believes the Stimson administration can manipulate it, pointing to language in Brown's contract and exit options presented to him. City officials dispute they would ever manipulate the outcome. On Friday, Stimson said enough was enough and asked the council to fire Prine. Unless the council suspends its own rules, council members will not vote on Stimson's request tomorrow and wait at least one week before taking up the issue. Also on tomorrow's agenda, two council members are proposing to hire special counsel to investigate some of the accusations Prine has made. The resolution isn't about the police chief or uh, the mayor's office, it's about uh, transparency and being able to investigate any accusations made uh, that may take away the public trust or erode the public trust that the citizens have in both the council administration and the police department. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to really know what the truth is at this point in time, uh, especially with there being information from both sides. And this is all about public trust here. Now, due to the expected length of time of the executive session on the Brown Report, the regular Mobile City Council meeting has been moved to 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. The council president says the report will be made public after their executive session.